This video is brought to you in part by True Tech Tools, quality tools, essential support. All right, guys, we're here to check out an air conditioner. It's not working right. They think that it's one of the units not running because they have high humidity in the building. They said something about it has condensation. I'm assuming that it's maybe leaking or something all over the place. Let's go in here and take a look and see what we have going on. It's cool. a backwards. Right now, kitchen is comfortable. Dining room is not comfortable. Okay. I'll go out there and take a look, see what we got going on. You're welcome. So supposedly we got some condensation or something in here. We're gonna get up on the roof, check airflow, make sure that's correct, make sure filters are clean. All the usual suspects that generally don't change for nothing. So we've got ductwork coming across here, to this main trunk line to there, and on back to that area there. So let's go up on the roof, see what we got. Generally what I noticed at some of these locations it's just like usual maintenance doesn't happen surely is not going to happen up here on the roof they usually take care of their own stuff there's the ice machine that i did a video on a while back got some exhaust hoods here here's the kitchen let's see how bad the uh... coils look suction sweating fans are all running this is the kitchen like I said let's go look at this other one over here well it's definitely pulling out some moisture here probably a little more moisture than what you're used to that kind of makes me think that the fan speeds probably going really slow I think these were started up in the winter time so I don't know if they ever got a true air conditioning startup but she is pumping the heat it ain't afraid to tell you so all three are putting it out. Let's go uh, take a peek inside here. I mean, you can see we had the airflow set. You would think that was done. Economizer, hard to tell. Let's get this thing open and look in here. Got us a J control here. Let's take a peek a poo in here, what we got going on. So I went through here already, but let's look at it again. So we've got cooling, Y1 in. Y1 out, yes. Y1, uh, Y2 in, yes. Y2 out, yes. Not in heat. Mixed air temperature, 62.2. Outdoor air temperature, 90.9. Damper out, Ugh, 56%. Uh, actuator position, 56%. That kind of seems a little jacked. Mechanical cool on. Let's get out of here and let's look inside at the uh, dampers. Let's see what we got at that. I'm gonna check these filters. All right, so we are trying to cool the world down by pulling in a crap ton of mixed outside air. Yeah, that's good. That's that's probably why it's not working so well. Filter looks fairly new. So does that one. So those had to have been changed not too horribly long ago because for as much outside air as we're bringing in, that should have been pretty packed full of crud. Yep, fan speed don't feel like it's super fast either, but let's get a look at this actuator and see what's going on with that. Pulled that panel out, now we're able to get in here and see, make sure that our wires are not loose. They're definitely warm. This should be about 208 area. Everything seems fine there. Shouldn't probably do that live, but you know, probably gonna end up adjusting that actuator on the J control there. I wanted to kind of visually actually see it. I don't know how that would have gotten adjusted that high. That's like, other than the uh, fresh air for paranoia and stuff like that. Let's take a look in here on system setup. Okay, we're gonna get in there and I think we need to get into the actual setup, which doesn't seem like it's, there we go, set points. Mix air temperature at 53, low temperature lock 32, dry bulb setting 63, minimum position six and a half volts. I think what's happened here, especially being as we've got, somebody's done a full blown balance. I think what we might have here is because all you've got for a makeup air unit, you got this one right here. And I don't know Hell, it's not even running. 
That could be a problem. Freaking dampers are shut. What the heck? Power's on, but nothing's running. Windier in hell now. Yeah, this is a problem. So we're not pulling air into the actual building there. You got the big old hoods there, or the big old uh, whatever, they're yanking it out. That'll screw you real fast. What about this makeup here unit? It's a story on this one. That one's running. This is over top the grill line. That one over there, even though it's the bigger one, is back by the... Uh, I don't understand why the biggest one's back here. This makes no sense. All right, so I kind of talked to some of the designers here, and this ductwork goes over to the cook line. They also got it tempered with the kitchen unit to help counter the hot air that it's going to be bringing in from, you know, during the summertime. I'm going to go downstairs and see if the power is turned off down there. Hopefully it's off and not tripped. Okay, let's go over here and take a peek-a-poo. See if we can find this thing. Do we see anything off? Trip to there. So, I guess maybe I should check the voltage up there on the roof before I came down here, but. So luckily, like I said, we looked around and found this before we adjusted anything. When you see that balance ports there drilled out and looks like somebody professionally did it, it's probably not a good idea to go changing things. If you do, that's where that RPM gauge comes in handy, tachometer, and uh, write it down where it was at before. So far, we got 208 on these two power legs. I still gotta check the other one. I'm thinking, I bet you my switch is dead or this drive is shot. So we gotta pull this cover here. I'm real leery about opening that up when it's live. All right, so we do have power here. We went ahead and checked it. We have 209, 208, and 209. I couldn't see it because it's super, super bright out here. But once I got this cover off there, you can see there's a red LED there. And if you stare at it close enough, you can see it says overload. I did not see that because it's freaking bright out here. Now this little fan thing, I don't know if it's running or not. It doesn't look like it is. Wind is just blowing so hard that it's blowing everything off. Yeah, the little fan's not, not doing its job like it should. Of course, it may not run unless it's actually running the drive, which would make sense. So I get some of this crap out of it. Man, they made that really easy to take apart, that's for sure. OL2, overload 2. We can see if we can find something in here. I know this drive is supposedly got good tech support, but I don't really want to spend all day trying to figure it out. So let's go ahead and hit stop, hit run. Either one of them worked, that's awesome. Hit enter for OL2. That ain't doing nothing escape. That ain't doing nothing reset. There we go. Set for 60 hertz, it looks like. That's coming on. May need to go in here and see what it's rated at. I just checked my rating plate, 5.9 amps. With the door off, 5.9 eventually. I wonder if they were doing maintenance and they caused it to trip and didn't realize it. See how it's shutting down and starting over? There, that's open. That's good. Filters are really clean. Supposedly they might have just done a service on this, which kind of all goes together. I don't know how hard it's going to be to get in here to double check the programming to see where it actually trips out at. Technically and theoretically, shouldn't even have to. It's set up for 60 hertz. I know on that one I did a video of a while back, I set it where, you know, we, until we finally got it where we wanted it at. So yeah, all of our, make sure all of our connections are tight, which they feel like they are. And it is freaking hard to see. Monitor. Yeah, that gets kind of complicated. Get out of that. 5.1 amps. 5.1 amps. Fairly accurate. That's good. I think it's like space shuttle fast. I've done a video on these before. This is your outside lockout temperature, so it won't run unless it's 45 or wherever you set it at. Usually it's 50 to 55. It kind of depends on who, what, when, and where. Manual reset, that's in case the fan don't run. 
and it doesn't catch on fire, so it shuts that down. Just got a regular spark ignition. Here's your max control valve. It just controls the flow so that you can keep your uh, particular temperature rise. Can't know everything. Got to go back and look at the book. So like I said, we run it at 5.1. It actually is doing pretty good there. Still think we got way too much outside air coming in. We may close that just a little bit. It's a sports bar, but they don't have any smoking or any of that in here, so you don't, you know, got anything to really wash out other than just the, you know, carbon dioxide in the room. Well, the fan's running. So it's not the issue. Not for another year or two. Still pulling out a lot of moisture, a lot of humidity. At minimum position, though, that's just nuts. That sure looks like a lot. Definitely looks like a lot. I don't know how oversized and all that stuff. And this ain't the first summer for it. Let's see what we can do here with this thing. Let's see what our status is for um, mixed air temperature now. Let's see if it's any cooler. Mixed air temp 60. I don't remember what it was before. I'll have to go back and look. I think it was 63, so we may have raised it and dropped it by three degrees. Um, yeah. Okay, so set points, minimum position low, six and a half, high, six and a half. We could try taking that down to say six and see where that's at. That still is like higher than ever I normally see it. Because if you think about it, if you're in high, it's obviously not keeping up very well. A lot of times you see the high lower. Let's go to five and see what happens. And then on low, it'll go back open. So that way when there's not much of a load, it would be less open. Then again, there we go, there's five volts. That's maybe a little too closed. I mean, it's definitely bringing air in, but something just changed blower speed changed yeah so it went down to low I think right there see how it just starting to open back up yep I think it just dropped down to low and what's awesome is we can come over to this thing and find out if it changed to low now you remember downstairs it was off by quite a bit status Y1 is on, Y2 is off. So Y2 is not calling now. Let's go downstairs and see how the thermostat's set up and see what kind of differential. Those thermostats can have temperature differential and have time delay going into it. And depending on how they have that set up, they could be multiple degrees. It's, it's all kinds of flexibility there. Obviously, the longer we run, the more we'll pull. Now that the building's not as much of a negative, if you think about this, that there is pulling air and putting it into the kitchen so the building's not sucking for the air so you know if the building's in a negative it's going to pull where it can get it at so in that case it's going to pull from this unit right here which is going to screw up the dining room area which that's the area you want to make uh most comfortable the kitchen unfortunately they're the sacrificial lamb so let's go back and look at it see how it looks all right so this is the kitchen area pop the filter out I haven't looked at the controller yet to see where we're at, but that's nowhere near as open. Now they may have taken into consideration the kitchen heat load being much higher than the dining room so that they figured they could get away with it out there. It's hard to say. Just have to lift up and pull up to get that to come out of there. Kind of tricky. So it's set at 68 and at 73 it's just now cutting it back. That seems a little extreme. Let's see if uh, we can go through here. We need to go in here and set up limits so they can't set my heat. No higher than 70. Now let's do 76 which is really crazy. Minimal cool 65. They do at least got that set fairly decent. We'll let that roll cycles per hour, compressor minimum. We could try to take that down to 
to three, it's three phase. Minimum cooling cool two, that's fine. Number of heat two, number of cool. First stage dead man, two degrees. Let's take it to one. That's a hellacious amount. Second degree, another two degrees. Let's set that to one. Third stage don't matter because it's not doing it. Minutes between first and second stage. We could take that up to five. Minutes between, actually, you don't even need that. Let's hold that, go back one. Let's go to minutes between, we can go three. Let's go minutes between second and third. Don't matter because it's not one. Uh, second stage turnoff point dead band so it's always going to sync a cycle back and forth in between the dead band which for humidity is probably best and it's a purge control temp source wired remote yes humidity only with heat so right there was a majority of them cool to demify that's not being used fan off delay now auxiliary output polarity auxiliary output polarity this thing has a lot of cool features it's for being a generic stat it's a heck of a thermostat for the money. I'm not a big fan of it, but it does work. Degree offset for the temperature for cool, four degrees. Heat, negative four degrees. So we got a hellacious amount of dead band in between there. So they're trying to play games, which sucks. All right, so we are running 73 degrees out here. Let's go back and look at that thermostat. So I was measuring 74. Yes, yeah. We'll probably take that up one more notch. So we're over here on the kitchen one. Wanted to make sure I checked it over. Looks like that one's fresh and clean. Belt looks tight. Now it's cycling a little more now on both, both circuits. So what I think is with us changing that thermostat to one degree differential for first and second stage, you still got a two degree differential between first and second. It's gonna get close to satisfying. It's gonna drop down to first. It's gonna weasel dink back and forth on that. And the unit's never gonna shut off, so it's gonna constantly pull out the heat. There goes my hat. Ugh. It's a little windy out here. It appears that it's a lot better than what it was. That's for sure. Still pulling out a crap ton of moisture. I just want to say, let's try this first. It's uh, a hellacious amount better than what it was. And uh, kind of see how that goes.